Okay, today I've got another big update regarding short-term rentals here in San Diego. So just last week, the San Diego City Council, they actually agreed to postpone the very long-awaited new short-term rental ordinance. Hey, this is Brad Hobson and I'm around San Diego and today I'm in beautiful South Mission Beach, which of course is one of the large areas in San Diego that does a lot of short-term rentals. So here's the update. So the California Coastal Commission still has to review and certify the new short-term rental ordinance. And so the city council was concerned that they wouldn't have enough time to set up the licensing, logistics, and enforcement for the enactment July 1st, which is when it was supposed to go into effect. So they basically said, hey, we're going to postpone it and give ourselves until December of this year to get all the licensing, all the enforcement personnel in place. Now, of course, last April, they approved and passed the new short-term rental ordinance, which calls for 5,400 single licenses issued to uh, short-term rental owners here in the city of San Diego. And then they carved out an additional 1,100 single-use licenses for Mission Beach because, of course, Mission Beach has got a long history of short-term rentals. Now, they're going to issue these licenses on a lottery basis, and people are going to get a higher priority if they are already a long-term operator of short-term rentals and also they haven't had any code enforcement violations in the last two years and the fees are expected to be about a hundred dollars for people doing short-term rentals for less than 20 days per year and about a thousand dollars for people renting their properties out for 20 days or more so the new short-term rental ordinance is really based and focused on the people that are renting their properties out for more than 20 days a year, places like Mission Beach and other areas. And of course, this issue has been uh, going on and back and forth between the city council and people that live in some of these communities and Airbnb and some of the short-term rental companies. So it's finally coming to a head. The city council has passed the ordinance and now they're just trying to make sure that they put everything in place so then when they start enforcing, they've got the personnel to do it. And also what's really important is that if July 1st was gonna be the enforcement date, they felt like people that own short-term rentals, they didn't know for sure if they would know if they had a license by then. And so they might be committing short-term rental uh, leases to renters without knowing they had a license. So that's probably another good reason to postpone this. So wanna know what you think about the short-term rental ordinance in general, and what do you think about this postponement of enacting and enforcing and starting this until December of this year. This is Brad Hobson and I'm around San Diego.